Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to quickly and simply make this circular paper cut effect in Adobe Illustrator. Now this will work in all versions of Illustrator. With that, let's begin. So we begin with an artboard that's 800 pixels by 800 pixels. I'm using five colors right here. And we're going to start by pressing M and drawing a rectangle across this entire shape. What color it is, it doesn't matter initially. Then we're going to press L and we're going to start drawing some circles. First, you're going to have to select another color so we can see the circles easily. And we're going to make some large circles, about like that big. Okay. And now I'm just going to hold Alt and I'm going to move them to random places on our shape. And this is the longest process of this entire tutorial. After we do this step, uh, this actually goes very quickly. Okay. Having done that, I want to resize some of these pictures so they don't, some of these circles so they don't overlap. So I'm going to make them a bit smaller and readjust them slightly. Some of these I'll make a bit bigger and others again a bit smaller. And don't worry that they hang off the edge. That's not a big issue. Uh, they can be right off the picture. It doesn't matter that much. But you want to make sure that is fairly narrow space between them. It looks much nicer when it's narrower. Okay, we get to there. This is a good size. This we're going to make smaller. You don't want them to overlap, obviously. Put them here. Like that. And of course, you also don't want them all to be the same size. That's also a big point. So we're actually going to resize both of these. So we can move this to here. This to here. This one to here. Make it a bit bigger that this one we can make it larger too okay having done that now we want to fill in some of these smaller spaces so i'm going to hold alt and move some of these in here like that that's okay this to here a bit bigger don't want it too narrow and then we'll move some into the smaller spaces as well shift so we're almost there. After doing this step, again, it's really quick and simple. Good. We're gonna add some tiny little circles too because they look nice. And just to fill in some of the spaces. And right there. Okay, I think that's uh, that's enough. Once we fill in the space. Okay, cool. I think that's enough now. Okay, now having made this super simple, all we're gonna do, we're gonna select all of these shapes like this, go to Pathfinder, and then divide. Good. Having done that, we're going to select, right click, ungroup, then select our background, hold shift, move it out of here. Good. Now we don't know, we don't need these circles anymore, so I'm going to delete them. We can bring this back. Actually, we could just leave this out here for now. Now this step, we're going to select our shape. We're going to press R. We're going to start rotating it and we're going to hold alt and shift so we rotate it by 90 degrees then again we're going to start rotating hold alt and shift rotate 90 degrees and once more hold alt and shift and rotate it by 90 degrees then we're going to select our entire shape hold shift move it over top of our artboard like this cool having done that we're now going to give each one of these layers a different color so we're going to select them and give them a different color and we can start seeing them. The color pattern doesn't really matter. It's up to you, whatever you enjoy or however you think you might like it. Yeah, so we can deal with that. And then last but not least, I'm gonna hold a square, 800 by 800 with this color, select it, right click and arrange, send to the back. And there we have it. So 
The last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna select all of our shapes except for the back. So I just held shift and clicked on the shape in the back. And we're gonna go to effect, then stylize and drop shadow and press okay. Here, you can keep the opacity at about 75, 75%, 77, seven, that's all okay to start. And go preview. And we see now we have the drop shadows just like that and press okay. Having done that, now we see our entire shape has drop shadows. The final thing we want to do is we want to get rid of these drop shadows that fall off the artboard. So we're just going to press M and draw a box across the entire image like that. Then select our entire image, right click and make clipping mask. And once we do that, there we go. We now have our shape, our circles with shadows that fall down onto the units below them. And it's all done. Feel free to adjust uh, the, the layers in here. So if you want to make one of these rectangles above the other, it will change the effect slightly. Apparently not. Sorry. <laughs> if you want to make the differences, sorry, you have to do it in here. Open your clip group, select your compound path, and you can adjust the size or the layering of it, just like that to make a different effect and the drop shadows will stay with every single effect. Super simple. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. If you liked it, hit like, subscribe, check out our other videos. If you have any questions, write them in the comments below. And of course, check out our other videos on these paper cut effects. There'll be a few coming up in the next few weeks. And with that, as always, have a great day.